Time to get some good old fashioned revenge. This is just a quick reminder from the game about how to deal damage to faced mech on. So it's a monster we can't damage directly even with the Monado enchant and one that we can't topple directly. So we're going to build up our chain gauge. It's not too difficult to work out and you may have noticed either through watching previous video videos or through playing yourself but the chain gauge builds up as we inflict status effects in battle. Obviously because we can't hit it or do anything to it we're not going to be inflicting status effects on Zord at the moment and the game has provided us with this neat little collection of tiny mech on to smack about for a bit. Now the other main way to build up the chain gauge is when you run around and help each other. Um, this is helping each other by means of like encouragement, getting each other up, slapping each other when you're dizzy, not when we get the help icon because that actually uses up the chain gorge. When we, whenever we um, take control of another character in our party that costs us chain gorge but high-fiving them gives it back. This is another reason why Shulk is quite good for the early game, especially on your first time round, because two of his seven arts at the moment um, give side effects. They're also his fastest cooldown attacks, and these are the, the, the two icons you can see that are the little stabby knives uh, aligned horizontally. They don't necessarily always inflict a status attack. This is why Shulk is always running around so much. Benefits of his attacks, as long with the extra damage of using an art, depend on where you are with regards to the enemy. So I've spoken about backslash before, before, where we stand behind someone and it does two or three times the amount of damage it would normally do. Well, his two side attacks um, have an additional effect if we hit from the side. One slows our target and one reduces their physical defense. And I think I'm correct in, in saying they can stack up to a point. So they are awesome. So not only uh, does using Shulk as you run through and get to grips with it the first time mean you can control your enemy stats to a point, but also it's a lot easier to build up chain gauge. I know Ryan is also quite good at building up chain gauge. His attack... No, I, th I think it does sometimes, but I'm not sure. I know I've seen it. His attack where he swings around and hits lots of things in succession does build up chain attack. I might be misremembering that though, and that may only build up the gauge when we're actually in a chain already. But the rules go a bit squiffy when we're in a chain attack. This is another one of those fights where, to be honest, Sharla's detrimental to the whole thing. It would just go through faster and be easier if she were a substantial damage dealer as opposed to a healer or a majority healer. This is the one thing where Sharla will really fall down compared to other people is that no one has one straight role. Everyone pretty much has a main role and then a backup role. So for Ryan, he's mainly there to take aggro and tank things, but he's also good damage-wise. Ryan, uh, no, I've already said Ryan, Shulk, is mainly about damage, but also control. So the side effects, uh, they are quite literally side effects, the reducing the stats, uh, being able to drop his aggro, 
being able to inflict break on everything because one of the attacks we have uh, inflicts break on a single target. That's the one that also has a chance to slow. But the other pink art we had will just inflict break on anything in front of us. Sharla will get a bit more usability down the line. But to be honest, the, the first section with her, she's so useless that there's really no incentive to go back to her and rediscover her once she's got lots of her arts. Grind yeah. time! Sharla, I'm on it! Dose of healing coming up! Nice! Juju at this rate. I've got to think of something. Huh? Why? Where did you come from? You feeling hungry, huh? Chew on this, scrap for brains. Boy, now's your chance. Save Juju. Atharon, don't do it. Hurry up! At this rate, even if we save Juju, Atharon's gonna be... <sighs> you see a vision you don't like? We'll change the future together. Got it? Change. The future. Yes. That's it. Right. You grab you two. Shock. What are you doing? Oh man. You think you can stop me? No, I don't. But I can do this. <laughs> Let's see if that Mekon body of yours can withstand an ether river! Juju! Wake up! Shut up! Leave the rest to us! Hang in there, you old fool! Fall, you damn machine! All of you! We can change our destinies. Athara, you won't die here. Not today. You cannot defeat me! Be long now, my friends, but not before. Gado, this is for you. This is for the people of Colony Six. <laughs> supposed to happen. Atharon! Gado, I'll see you before long. Oh, 
close. Uh, you want to hurry up? My arm's about ready to drop off. Thank you. Save the thanks for Shulk and his vision. As soon as I saw an Ether River, I knew this had to be the place. Juju, you're safe now. What did I tell you? You and me can make anything happen. Yeah, you were right. A boy who can change the future. I stand corrected, young man. You've done a great deed here today. I didn't really do anything. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Tell me, your vision saved me. But what of the others? What happened to Gado? Uh... I see. Shala, take this. Gado would have wanted you to have it. Time to head back to the camp. We'll need to get Juju some medical attention. There's a freight elevator on the next level. From there, it's an easy route out of the mine. As long as it's working. We'll know that when we get on it. You make me laugh. Well, I'm right, ain't I? You're absolutely right. We need to move on and stop worrying about every little thing. Come on, guys. we've been given now for Sharla, Gado's rifle, I thought was going to be really good, or maybe a persistent weapon, one that we would have useful down the line and would say maybe level up with her, like the Monado does for Shulk, because we never actually buy new weapons for Shulk, it's just as he gets stronger, the Monado does as well, but for every other character we are purchasing new weapons as we progress, I've just been cutting that out because you don't want to see how I compare weapons and stuff, I'm like... It's like a visual guide to OCD, basically. But the gun we've actually been given is rubbish even now. I, if I recall correctly, I don't use it at any point. She is already equipped with something stronger and it's nothing I went out of my way to get. So that was a bit odd, to be honest. And now to freedom. Nothing bad can happen on this lift. What? Good. Works perfectly. You see? What did I say? We're all impressed. <sighs> hey! Why have we stopped? I don't know. But I think we're about to find out. <sighs> Not him again! This one doesn't give up! This is our chance, guys. This guy is a little too determined for my liking. However, being dunked in an ether river seems to have broken whatever stopped us from hurting him before. And now we can just outright wail on him. I don't even need to cast the enchantment on the other guys. It is literally just damaging him as fast as we can now. That bit in particular where he falls in the Ether River reminded me a lot of Final Fantasy VII. And I know a number of people have said they've never played it. I really suggest you guys go and dig out 
Elentor's screenshot LP of Final Fantasy VII. It's still running on the forum as well. It's really good. Uh, not only is the game fun to view, the LP is quite good, and you'll learn some things about Brazil during the dull parts. And the guy doing the LP um, sounds like Smell the Dragon. So, yeah, if you're not sold by that description, then you have no soul when are probably not watching a Xenoblade Chronicles LP. I really like all the damage effects they did across Zord on this. I'm actually slightly nerdier than your normal LPer, and I do a hell of a lot of miniature painting, so I quite geekily was actually inspecting him while I was playing and seeing how they'd used all the colour filters and stuff. He looks really burnished and bruised, or as bruised as metal can, obviously. Uh, he really does look like he's just been dunked in something he shouldn't have been. It's another example of where good art design has won out over poor resolution. When you became like this, what do you mean? Time's up, Pipsqueak. I'm gone! Thor! Get back! Smash that bronze idiot. Now the people of Colony 6 can rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, uh. Are you okay? Shala. I thank the stars you're alright. Where are we? Just outside Colony 6. Thanks to Shulk and Ryan, we destroyed that thing. But not everyone made it. Oh? I'm so sorry. Shulk? Ryan? I didn't mean to cause any more trouble running off like that. Forget about it, kid. We settled the score. Thanks. Yes, but there's still no sign of that Mechon with the metal face. He's the one we're really after. Yeah. Hope I'm not interrupting. Oh. It's him! A whole bunch! And tons of them look like Zord! Pathetic! 
After all that talk, Zord was crushed by worthless maggots like you. Oh, this one can talk and all. I can talk all right. And I got a good memory. Fiora, get out of there. Get out. <laughs> Were music to my ears. My claws slid right through her soft flesh. Like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> Talk all you want. Because those words will be your last! A Monado! It's been a while. Should know by now. The Monado can't stop me! Shulk! Shulk! I'm gonna. Anyway, you slice it. The Monado ain't gonna work, boy. Didn't work then, won't work now. Now, time to cut you down to size! Hey, what? That's. Now, let me have it, beast! Dumba! How did you... Sorry to have kept you. Looks like we were just in time. Now we have more than just three characters available, we can shuffle about who we have in our party. You get given this option actually when you walk into any major fight, which is really handy. You never have to watch a cutscene and then you find yourself thrown into a fight with the wrong party. You can fiddle about with everyone's kit and who's lead character and who's in your group. I would, if I could, just play as Dunban straight away because not only is he a tap dancing sword wizard, but he's also awesome to play as. However, an overarching problem in the game is that if you're fighting Mechon, you need to be playing as Shulk to consistently have enchant implied to people's weapons. It's not actually that big a problem because they did put a hell of a lot of effort into the design of Shulk's playstyle, how he controls, what kind of talents he has, and when I played through the first time I barely played as anyone else at all and at no point did I get bored. It, it really is a case of second time round, it's just a lot, fun to, a lot of fun to see what everyone else can do. But it does mean that if you do end up with a different favourite character, you'll still have to pop back as him occasionally because for some reason the AI just, you know, doesn't care about anyone else being able to do damage. We did it! Let's focus our efforts! On it! Let's focus our efforts! On it! There's no end to them. Where are they coming from? I can take the smaller ones, but the rest will be like fighting Zord over and over. If only the Monado would work on these things. Focus, Shulk! Look out! Ryan! <laughs> Look at you all! Look at this, metal brain! Run it, Grandpa! Running out of ideas here. You may be able to block a projectile, but let's see if you can block this! <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel to be such a pathetic hero? You okay, Dumban? Oh, does it hurt? I bet it does. It hurts because the Monado won't work for a bunch of losers like you! 
What are you? Save it. I am interested. You little maggots need to learn when you've been stepped on. That light. Everyone, fall back. Now. Won't change a thing. I'm gonna wipe you out once and for all. Now's our chance! Oh, you'll pay for that! How are you? We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Father! Weak, weak and pathetic. What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done! You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! Uh, another one. Enough of this! Uh, you got lucky, brat. Next time, your head is mine. You're not getting away! Get back here! Short! Ryan! Let it go! You've gotta be kidding! He's the one who killed Fiora! Know your limits. We'll get another chance. Fine. That thing saved us. Whatever it was. You did well. But what of the boy? Well then, there is much to be done. <laughs>